Well, we are here at Fox and Superfine in uh, Fayetteville, Georgia, and Troy is kind enough to share some math knowledge with us about oddball ratios. So uh, some of the BJB products that are a one-to-one -one ratio are really simple to, to figure this out, to calculate the components. But when you're dealing with some of these materials like this uh, water clear resin that we have here today, uh, things can get complicated. So Troy, take it away. Yeah, yeah, and again, we all wish everything was one-to-one. -one. That would be a, a perfect world. And then one-to-one, -one, two-to-one are usually the easiest to do the math on. But again, we have some other formulations that are, well, this one happens to be 100 to 65. We have some that are 100 to 75, 100 to 80, 90, all those things. So, but all the calculation is still done basically the same way. So a lot of scenarios uh, that we run into is like, hey, I'm, I'm gonna mix up some material. I need about, let's say 300 grams, okay? That's the total, that's what we think that part or how much material we're gonna need to fill that mold. We might have a little extra. We can fine tune that later. So on a product like this, 100 to 65. So that's 100 parts A, right? To 65 parts B. 300 grams. So what do we do? Well, to make this math easy, and what I've learned over the years is just to really simplify it, and I and I and I use it all the time. Is really this is 100% plus 65%. Well, that's easy. That's 165%. That's going to be important when I punch this into the calculator. So I got 300 grams, and I want to divide that by the total sum of 165%. So what we do over here is I take 300, and I'm going to divide that by 165 and hit the little percent button and I get 181.8, 181.8, okay? So that's the 100% and the balance is the rest of the B. So if I do that, so if I say 300, take away 181.8, that equals 118.2, so 118.2. So that's how much A I need, and that's how much B I need. Excellent, that's very helpful. And uh, dear viewers, YouTube audience out there, this is exactly the kind of stuff that uh, uh, I like to have handy on this channel. So I will be using this video just as much as you all will be. So just for uh, the slow guys like myself, could we do this again with say yeah. 400 grams? So again, if it was a, a one to one mix ratio, that'd be pretty simple. 200 yeah. grams A to 200 grams B. Exactly. Well, let's say it's a 400 gram uh, batch. And let's say this time we're doing TC 266, which mm. is a two to one mix ratio okay. or, or 50 to 100. Correct, yeah. So we got 50 parts A to 100 parts B. So there's more B than the A, right? So you got A, B. So again, I'm gonna look at this as 50% plus 100%, 150%. So okay. I'm gonna divide the 400 grams by 150%. So I got 400, divide that by 150%. So I have 266.66, okay? Now where do I put that? Is that on the 50 or the 100? Well, actually, it's gonna be on the 100 column here. So that's 266.66. Six, right and um, basically the rest for the other side is the B so the difference is 133 and that's point well I'm gonna round up so three four right so that makes it nice and even and again you could even round this off and say 133 and 266 that particular products uh, forgiving enough to do that but again if you want to really get to the, the decimal points there you are so again that that works for all sorts of things. I'll actually give you one more scenario. So let's say we have a scale and we're gonna just kind of eyeball stuff and we wanna figure out how to calculate the ratio. So let's go back to this one where we've got 100 parts A to 65 parts B. So we pour out 100, uh, excuse me, we pour out the A side and we end up getting, let's say there's 166 grams of A laying on the scale and we wanna go with this product up here which is 165, right? A, B. So this is here, well actually this one's really pretty easy, because this is gonna be 166 grams of A, and then we're just gonna multiply 65% to figure out what that B is. So if I do that, oh, nice. it's That's one, even easier. 66, because again, sometimes you're like, I don't know exactly how much, but I'm gonna eyeball it, okay? And then if you multiply that by, um, say 65%, yeah, so there you go. 
107 is going to be the B. 7.9 or 108 to round up. Excellent. And that was the. So that's what we would do if we were doing this product right here. Yeah. The WC 85DM. Excellent. Troy, there thank you, you very much. That is some very helpful math. And again, I'm glad I'm filming this as a video because now I'll be able to remember it. Now, I would also like to point out for those of you saying, why are there little hands holding up the whiteboard? This was the idea of Elizabeth who said, don't draw <laughs> on the paper on the counter, hold up, let's do a whiteboard thing. And now Elizabeth's back there hiding behind the whiteboard. But I'd like to point out this was her idea, not our idea. Troy and I have not <laughs> stuck her behind the whiteboard as some kind of punishment <laughs> or anything. Um, Elizabeth was the one that suggested that. Thank so, you, Elizabeth. Big thanks, Elizabeth. And big thanks to the uh, Fox and Superfine crew for letting Absolutely. us hang out and play with uh, chemicals.